With a struggling economy and several difficulties to handle, Pakistan has opted to focus its resources on the developing of the TPS-77 radar station in Chor Cantonment, barely 58 kilometers from the international border. Pakistan, despite its numerous challenges, manages to find the resources and time to improve its military capabilities. The country has invested in cutting-edge technology like the TPS-77 radar, not because of any domestic threats, but rather to counter India. Chor Cantonment is located in the Punjab province of Pakistan. This proximity to the border indicates that the radar site is likely intended to enhance Pakistan's military surveillance and early warning capabilities along its border with India. And undoubtedly, the people of this nation might be thrilled to know that their government is prioritizing their safety over trivial things like economic stability, food and social welfare. So why did the Pakistani government feel the need for improved radar capabilities? The reason is that during the Balakot airstrike in 2019, Pakistan said it had used its own radar systems to spot and engaged Indian fighter planes. But when India's BrahMos missile accident made the news in 2020, it showed that monitoring wasn't done well enough. Pakistan's own radar systems didn't notice the incoming missile, which showed a hole in their radar coverage. However, the new placement of Pakistan's TPS-77 radar has the potential to impact India, it may indeed make it more difficult for India to launch surprise attacks, as the radar can detect and track air activity in the region, including any potential threats. Pakistan has decided to put dozens of other radars in places that are important from a strategic point of view. Most of these will be in Punjab, but some will also be in Sindh. Some of them already functional. These radars were put there to protect high-value targets like communication centers, air force bases, military installations, and so on. TPS-77 radar could provide Pakistan with advanced warning and allow him to take appropriate defensive measures in response. However, it's important to note that India has its own high-tech radar and surveillance systems. Any military action would probably be carefully planned and carried out, taking into account the defenses of the other side, it might have a chance of being successful. The TPS-77 MRR is a mobile radar system that can be readily carried and set up in various places. It works in the S-band frequency spectrum. It is three-dimensional, tactical transportable, long-range air surveillance radars with a range of 470 kilometers. The radar employs modern digital signal processing techniques to give precise target recognition and tracking capabilities in difficult conditions. The TPS-77 MRR can identify and track a broad variety of airborne targets, including fixed-wing aircraft, helicopters, unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and missiles. According to the official description, the TPS-77 radar system can find tactical ballistic missiles with shorter ranges, but it doesn't say anything about fast-moving cruise missiles or missiles that move faster than the speed of sound that are very hard to detect. Cruise missiles are built to evade detection by radar systems, and certain cutting-edge cruise missiles, such as the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile, are equipped with stealth technology. So, it is possible that the TPS-77 radar might not pick up on some cruise missiles going at Mach 3, depending on the circumstances. While Pakistan's new radar location may have an influence on India's air defense capabilities, its portability and flexibility make it a valuable asset for military and civilian applications. It also emphasizes the need of India continuing to modernize its air defense system and creating countermeasures to secure its airspace.